Hello and welcome to RetroBreeze. I'm making this video to address some misconceptions that I far too often hear regarding the Miu Mini and the supposed possibility of bricking it with various activities such as installing a custom OS. I'm here to clear things up and hopefully ease your mind when it comes to keeping your Miu Mini safe. The term brick describes an electronic device such as the Mini that can no longer function due to firmware, software or hardware damage and is thus bricked. The device becomes as useful as a brick. Or, in the terms of the Mini, I suppose a paperweight is more appropriate. There are two definitions of brick. A soft brick, which is when the device shows some sign of life, such as powering on and showing an error screen. Soft bricked devices can generally be recovered or fixed. A typical example of a soft brick might be a computer that turns on but has a problem booting into Windows. You might recover this by running the Windows OS repair or reinstalling Windows altogether. Once you do that, the computer works fine and so it wasn't completely bricked. When something is completely bricked, we call it a hard brick. This involves a device that is totally kaput and irrecoverable. It might not power on, or it might boot, but for all intents and purposes it cannot be used, ever again. An example might be a smash device or one with corruption on its onboard storage that prevents it from being used ever again. So let's address the Miu Mini specifically. The Mini has two types of storage a very small onboard NAND storage chip, which is a chip that hosts the base firmware. And the second type of storage is of course the SD card, which contains essential files that you need to use your device properly, whether you're using the stock OS or something like Onion OS or Mini UI. That's kind of a very simplified explanation, but it works well enough for this video. To demonstrate this, here's the MiU Mini booting without an SD card. You can see that it works just fine, and it boots into the stock firmware. Naturally, there's no content such as games available because there's no SD card inserted. The onboard NAND chip only contains the stock OS and everything it needs to boot, nothing more. Now I'll boot with my SD card inserted. I've done nothing else except put the SD card in, and you can see that it will boot immediately to the OS I have on the SD card, which is Onion OS in my case. You can freely and often modify the contents of the SD card, such as when you add games or you install an OS mod like Onion OS you almost never modify the firmware on the NAND storage chip. That's right, custom firmware like Onion OS and MiniUI are actually not custom firmware at all, and installing them does not affect the onboard NAND firmware. Actually, Onion and MiniUI are more like custom front ends for the stock firmware, they just make it look and work a bit differently, and contain different software. With all that in mind, we can begin to understand what might cause your MiU Mini to brick and what wouldn't. In general terms, Nothing you can do to the SD card, whether you're installing a custom software, or copying games or anything else, will ever, ever have the ability to cause a hard brick on your MiU Mini. What you may find, if things go wrong, is in the worst case scenario would be a soft brick related to the SD card. This might occur if there's a problem installing a custom OS like Onion, or if the SD card becomes corrupted, but you'll find that in cases like this, were you to reboot without the SD card again, the NAND stock OS will boot as usual, so you know the device itself isn't hard bricked, it's an issue related to the SD card. In that case you might need to reinstall Onion, Mini UI, or whatever else, and at worst you might need to replace the SD card if it's become corrupted, but either way the device is fully usable. So in that case what could cause a hard brick, and why are there so many people out there saying that there's a risk of bricking when you do an update? Of course, physical damage like dropping the Mini is obvious, so we'll be talking about the onboard firmware over anything else. First, let's establish, specifically, the times where the MiU Mini firmware could possibly hard brick, and that is when you perform any action that writes to the Mini's onboard NAND storage chip. Such actions are more or less only the following. When you do an official firmware upgrade, when you write a boot logo via the Logo Tweak app, potentially every single time you turn off or on your Mini. Of course, that's Infinitely unlikely, but even so it is possible. And finally, malicious software like a virus, which thankfully doesn't appear to exist just yet. And that is pretty much it, outside of some negligible rare edge cases. Let's address these activities one by one. First, firmware upgrades. We're talking about the official firmware upgrades like you get from the Chinese Miu Mini website, not SD card based OSs like Onion OS or Mini UI. Generally, a newer MiU Mini will not need to do an official firmware update. You can check my tutorial video to see if your MiU Mini has the latest official firmware. It probably does. The old V1 MiU Mini used to use a generic phone battery that could easily get knocked out of place. Because of this, it was a little more common for the battery to potentially get knocked out of place during a firmware upgrade. Because the firmware upgrade writes to the NAND storage chip, it could cut off mid-write 
causing the NAND storage chip to become corrupt, or just incomplete with not enough to boot into the OS. In the past, this was the most common type of hard brick, and started the hearsay that updating had a high chance of breaking your MIUI Mini. It's also why, back then, it was recommended that you plug your MIUI in without the battery plugged in while you do an OS upgrade, because that removed that variable, that possibility of the battery being knocked out, during the upgrade. With the upgraded V2 and, um, weird V3 situation, the issue has more or less been completely resolved with the addition of a more secure battery connector, like this. You no longer need to worry about knocking the battery out. So as long as you have a charged battery for firmware upgrades and you don't purposefully yank the battery out in the middle of them, then you are going to be completely fine. Now, when you change a boot animation using Logo Tweak, Logo Tweak writes the new boot logo image to the NAND storage. It's the same thing as a firmware upgrade. As long as you don't yank out the battery or run out of charge in the very few seconds it takes to write the image, you're going to be fine. Honestly, this is kind of common sense. When you're doing anything that writes to the NAND storage, such as a firmware upgrade or writing the boot logo, just leave the Mini alone and you'll be fine. In terms of powering off and on the MIUI Mini, I mean, just like any other device in the world, there's a slim chance that something might glitch out, some spark inside the circuit board could fry everything. I mean, how often has that happened to you though? It's not even worth talking about. And in terms of malicious software, again, that doesn't exist. I doubt it ever will, so it's not something you need to worry about. So in summary of all this, nothing that you do to your SD card ever will cause your MIUI Mini to brick, unless you are using it to write to the NAND storage in some way. You might mess up your custom software, you might lose your content, or you might corrupt the SD card itself, but you won't brick your MIUI Mini unless you're writing to the NAND storage. Once again, when you're dealing with firmware upgrades or other NAND writing operations, ensure the battery is charged, there's no way for it to become disconnected, and don't straight up just yank it out or mess with the SD card while that operation is completing. That's really it. You can relax, breathe, and take it easier, knowing the things that you shouldn't do if you don't want to break your Mini. Finally, let's talk about a little bit of troubleshooting when you try and install Onion OS, because this is where most people get worried and when something goes weird and they think they've broken their Mini and they blame me for it, and all of that. Here's a few common issues, and briefly, how I would troubleshoot them. Your Mini boots to the normal OS, not the Onion installer, after you copy the Onion files to the SD card. Well, you probably didn't copy all the files correctly. Most likely, the hidden .temp underscore update folder. Make sure you enable hidden files on Windows or whatever OS you're using, and copy all of the files from the Onion zip over. Alternatively, your SD card might not be formatted to FAT32 file system. Check my installation tutorial for instructions on how to check and do that. Most new cards over 32GB won't be FAT32 by default, so you do need to take some extra steps in that case. After you install Onion, the Mini boots to a black screen. Something must have gone wrong during the install. Power off the Mini, pull the SD card out and reboot it. It should boot back into the stock OS. Remember we said before that if it boots into the stock OS, your Mini is not hard bricked, so you're fine. Just copy the Onion files over to the SD card again, overriding anything already there, and try the install fresh. If it still fails, format the SD card to FAT32 again, and start it all again. If you can't get Onion to install at all, I'm almost certain that you're using the stock card that came with the Mini. It's not reliable, it's probably not going to work. To this day, across both of my MIUI Minis, I've never been able to install Onion OS using the stock card. Maybe I'm just unlucky, but the fact of the matter is you need a reliable name brand SD card. Come on, you can pick one up for a tenner, just go for it. Usually once you get a reliable SD card like a SanDisk or a Samsung, you can install Onion and you'll have no problems with it. And the last one I just want to put in here just for kicks, if your SD card isn't showing up on Windows anymore. You want to try an app called SD Card Formatter to reformat the SD card. This will erase your data, but hopefully you have a backup. Note that after formatting your SD card using SD Card Formatter, you may need to format it once again back to FAT32. If this still doesn't work, you probably just want to check your SD card for corruption. It's probably corrupt, but you can also try it in other computers and all of that. I'm sure there are plenty of videos out there for SD card formatting, so just go check those out. Finally, if your MIUI Mini boots to a corrupted screen, it starts screeching at you loudly, it starts running across the floor and then crashes into the wall, bursts into flames and then explodes, okay, your MIUI Mini may actually be bricked this time. To be clear, that was a joke. I don't think that can happen. I haven't heard anybody talk about it yet anyway. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. I hope it helps you to relax and breathe. And one last thing I'll say here, just try not to get too worked up when you're messing and tinkering with your device. To be honest, it's part of the fun of having it. And with the MIUI Mini, if you take the SD card out, 
boot it up and it boots to that stock OS, you know that your Mini is fine and safe. So you can start working using the tips I provided here, using my tutorial videos to get yourself back up and running on whatever you're trying to do. So for more Miu Mini content and much more, increasingly more, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. If you have any further questions about your Miu Mini and the potential for bricking it or you're stuck with the installation, do drop me a comment, I do try and help out as much as I can. And that's all for this time, thank you very much for watching Retro Breeze, and I look forward to seeing you again very soon.